So this is the question that everybody has. How do you make money selling options? Let me show you. Hey, Jim Schultz here with you guys for Fcubed and livefcubed.com. And this channel is all about fitness, finance, and faith. So if any of those three, or even all of those three, appeal to you, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and tap the bell so you don't miss anything. All right, so today's title, how do you make money selling options? I mean, that is super, super clickbaity, but it obviously worked. I mean, you're here. But just to be really clear before we get into the actual meat of the content today, this is very much a beginner trader video. This is not a trader emeritus video. Like this is going to be some really, really basic stuff. So I don't want to waste your time, man. Like if that's not your jam, then by all means, click off. Go get you an early warm up on your squat session. Man, I am all for it. Have no problems. But if you're still here, let's do it. So everybody basically knows the secret to the stock market. I mean, people that aren't even in the stock market know the secret to the stock market. You buy low and you sell high. You buy Procter & Gamble in April of 2020 at 125 thinking, hey, virus or not, people are still going to bathe. And you're right. You sell it later that year in November 2020 for 144 You buy Apple in January of 2019 for a split adjusted 38 bucks a share. And then you sell it a year later in February of 2020 for a cool 80 bucks a share. Or lastly, you buy Zoom in October of 2020 for 550 bucks a share, thinking, hey, this is the future of work. Then you sell it in March of 2022 for, oof, scratch that last one. That didn't exactly go as planned. But by now, you're pretty clear of the concept, right? You buy something, it appreciates in value, and then you sell it at that higher price later. Well, with short options, with selling options, you're doing the same thing. You're just doing it in reverse. So you sell high first, looking to buy low second. So instead of looking for a low price to enter the option contract, you're actually looking for a high price to enter the option contract. And instead of looking for a high price to exit the option contract, you're actually looking for a low price to exit the option contract. It feels counterintuitive. It all feels backwards, but it's kind of like the first time you tried cold oatmeal. Like it felt off. It felt awkward. But now you realize that without it, and your life just wouldn't have the same zip. Now, if right now you're head spinning because you're thinking, Jim, my dude, like I understand selling something that I have, like a stock or a car or a Pedro Martinez figurine, like I got that. But how do I sell something that I don't even have? Like how do I sell something that I don't even own yet? Well, click on that video that's up in one of these cards up here and we'll talk all about selling something that you don't even have. But staying on track here today, this is how you make money selling options. You sell high first, and then you buy it back lower second. So for example, you sell a put for $2, and then three weeks later, it's marking its current price. It's marking at 75 cents. In that situation, you just made $1.25. Or let's say you sell a strangle for $4, and then 10 days later, it's marking for two and a quarter. There, you just made $1.75. Or lastly, let's say that you sold a vertical spread for three bucks, and then a month later, it's marking at 220. In this last example, there, you just banked 80 cents. That is what this is all about. Now, obviously, there are a million different ways to get from A to B. And even with those strategies that I just rattled off, like you might be thinking like, Jim, Rotato, tell me more about short puts and short strangles and vertical spreads and all that stuff. Man, I am right there with you. And we're going to get to all that stuff in due time. But in the meantime, definitely check out Tasty Trade for a wealth of information regarding all those different strategies and all kinds of different stuff related to options. But for now, I really want to stay on track with the focal point for the video today, which is not something that I am naturally good at. So today was not about the different strategies. It was not about the different pathways forward through the forest. It was more about just setting up a foundation for understanding how you even make money from a technical standpoint in regards to short options. But one thing that is important to note here, whatever pathway forward you choose, whatever strategy you might select, whenever you're short premium, i.e. selling options, you always have the natural movement of extrinsic value working on your side. The natural path that all options take because they have an expiration date and at expiration, their extrinsic value must be zero is going to be running parallel with your path. Now, does this guarantee that you're going to make money? No. 
Does it guarantee lock, stock, and barrel, Stone Cold Steve Austin certified profits? Not at all. But you know, it's kind of like going for a run. When you get out there and within the first couple of minutes, you notice that the wind is at your back. Hypothetically, I mean, I haven't gone for a run in over 20 years now, but theoretically, I can only assume that when you get out there and you feel a nice little breeze brushing up on the old caboose, man, that is only going to help that run. It's going to make it easier. It's going to boost your performance. It's going to make for a more efficient journey from point A to point B. Well, selling options is a lot like that with extrinsic value being the wind beneath your wings. And you won't even rip up your knees like you would if you did go for that run. But to wrap things up today, just understand that to make money selling options, it's very simple. You sell at some price, presumably a high one, and then later on down the road, you buy that option back at a lower price than you sold it. If you can do that, then you have a profit on your hands. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, what are the best ways to do that? What are the strategies that you should employ? What are the daily tactics that you should engage in to give yourself the greatest likelihood of that occurring? That's all coming on down the shoes. So stick around. It's on its way. But selling options and making money and all that rigmarole is actually very closely related to a video that we've already done on selling premium. And that video was more of a why video, whereas this video was more of a how video. So if you haven't seen that video yet, definitely give that a click. It's coming up next. Even if you have seen it before, click on it anyway, because your boy needs that YouTube watch time.